Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and today I'm going to share with you some items that I went out and purchased and I went to Sephora today. I went to Bath and Body Works because they were having the dollar pocket back sale and I had the email and I was pleasantly surprised that most of our new fall ones were out. However, my store did hold back the Halloween ones. I didn't see any Halloween was out. I did, however, see the hand soap that I'm looking for. Y'all know I'm loving the um, peach one that's out right now. So I want to get a couple of those. Um, and I'm going back Thursday to Sephora and to um, Bath and Body Works. But while I was out today, um, what I'm showing you here, the reason why I'm showing you these pajamas here is I've laid them out on the bed. These are not for me. These are for one of my residents at work. She had mentioned that she didn't have any nice pajamas, that she had some bottoms and she had to use a plain t-shirt. And y'all know that I'm always out. You know that I am always looking at stuff. And I happened to go into Macy's today looking for the, I don't know if it's called Pink Sugar um, but you know that that Pink Sugar brand has two new perfume scents. One is in orange and one is in blue, a berry. It's online, but it's not in the store. And while I was in there looking for that and they didn't have it, I happened to have remembered that I had discussed with one of my very kind residents about picking up some pajamas for her. And I usually always ask at my job, um, but I don't mind picking up things for people and these are free from the heart, um, but I do have to probably give them to get her name labeled in them. And for right now, these are summer pajamas. Um, I would like to get her some winter ones. And these were kind of on sale today. I think they were just $34 a piece. So I will cut that part off, but I will leave the tags on so that she can see they're new. But we do need to have her name put in these. But I thought that she would like this print. Um, I did look at some sage green and some navy blue prints, but they did not have them in an extra large because when she mentioned it to me, she was just talking. She didn't tell me, you know, to go out and do this. But I know that some of those residents, even though they have families, their resources sometimes are limited. And with our visitation rules, such as things are, sometimes they can't get in. And just so happens, guys, I get to work tonight. That wasn't the plan when I was out at the store, but I just got the phone call and I accepted going in. But I thought that this little pattern was so pretty. And again, like I said, these are summertime pajamas. Now, these are yellow, but they did not have, because one of the nurses I talked to checked for me to see what size some of her other things were, and she said extra large. So I got extra large, and if the resident can't wear these, I can't exchange these. But I wanted to look at the sage green and the navy blue because they really look like they'd be for her. And they didn't have those in the right sizes, so I went to the next one. So I hope she will like these. And I believe these are the kind that are maybe the, what do you call them when they cut off at the ankle per se? So I'm going to share with you what else that I got. And if you like these kind of pajamas, check out your Macy's and your Dillard's. A lot of these are on super sale right now. Now, I haven't made it to any of our new places. We have a crumble cookie and a few other places I want to visit. But one of the things I got in the mail was this Semi Sweet on You. And this goes with all of those Cushio colors that I had, um, those brown ones. And I finally went ahead and got this one because I had the other ones. There was eight in the collection. Now, as you can see, I didn't get this because I wasn't sure it would go with my skin tone. However, these kinds of polishes are nice when you're doing a layering stamp where you just about almost cover the color up. Because I had a tan one that you had to do a gold and a black over and it was a really, really nice look. So you can always utilize something like this in your collection. So if I remember, I will put these all together and share with you the rest of what was in that collection in case you didn't see it. So we will start with what I got from MAC. I got one loan item from MAC. I did check out the lipstick that I wanted to check out and I ended up not liking it. It is a red and it's very close to the Rihanna red that I have and a NARS red, which those two turned out to be the same type of red. So I thought maybe later, maybe not, we will see. But I got a different color. This one was called I Vote, I Vote For Me. And it is this shade right here. They had a nudish one that I wanted to try, but I have probably enough nude type lipsticks. I'm sorry, guys, look at me showing you the cap. I'm tired. I will have to lay down so I can go to work, but this is a shade right here. I apologize for that. And again, it is called I Vote For Me. And I thought it would be a nice shade. And again, they did have a nude one. I may go back and get that one. I don't know. But I do have lots of red shades. So I need to leave that red one alone. 
So, what I got from Bath and Body Works, I did amble into Great American Cookie and I got two of these because I haven't been there in a while. Since that time I told y'all that I hadn't been back, I went to Chick-fil-A and got a sandwich and one of our nurses, um, our charge nurses, got coupons that she didn't want. She gave me the 20% and the free $7.50, so I got a vanilla buttercream hand cream. I love this. This one and the oatmeal and the almond are my staples because they smell so good. So, I did contact my daughter and ask her if she wanted any pocket backs. And, of course, she said strawberry cupcake which i had no clue guys until she told me that recently so i got her three strawberry pound cakes did i say strawberry cupcake yeah once i agree to go to work even if i'm at work that day and i agree to come in you know any other day down the line i get instantly tired so i don't know how many of these i got i thought at one point i had 12 but i think i have a few more they did not have any unfragranced because that's what i wanted and again i wasn't sure we'd have the fall ones out because my store is known for holding things back and i thought we would have the awful choices that we had that one time but we had fantastic choices today i went ahead and got a flannel and a mahogany teak wood these are planned for gifting to males I got a Fall Citrus Harvest because I wanted to try that one. I didn't smell any of these. And I got a Pumpkin Cupcake. Even though I have a lot, it's always good to have a fresh one. I got a Spread Love Not Germs, which is Sea Salt Citrus. And then I got Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte and the Perfect Autumn. And let's see here I got ocean I got fall morning and I may have gotten two white pumpkins we will see this one and another one I got two of um, I love the white pumpkin candle so we will see how I like the pocket back and I got a fall morning I believe fall morning might have been the one that years ago before I moved I said I liked it and I only had one and then I went back and they did not have any more so I'm trying to see, guys. Yeah, that ends these pocket backs right here that I'm getting ready to show you. Ends my pocket backs. So I got a marble. I ended up with two fall citrus harvest, a marshmallow pumpkin latte. I think I got two of those too, and another um, white pumpkin. So let me see. In total, what did I do here? I got three, six, nine, twelve. So I got 17 in total. So let me put these up real quick. So the last and final thing that I got was when I stopped in Sephora, they are holding a perfume for me. After watching Young Miss Ashley's channel, um, she had showed a perfume called Replica and y'all know that I have the Cafe Mocha, Vanilla Cafe Mocha by Bath & Body Works. So I was curious. I went in there looking. They had all the perfumes um, because usually I don't go looking at the perfumes unless I am looking for something in particular and I wanted to look at the replica fragrances they don't carry the Kaoli in the store and I'm not usually one to blind buy anything in perfume because you just never know and some places are very stringent on perfume returns some will take the perfume right back um, others like Macy's at that time you could only have the top of the plastic open but not removed just so that you know you could open up the box and pull the bottle out and then if you didn't like the scent you could take it back if that over wrap was gone you were stuck with it so i'm very leery about blind buying perfumes there's a few that i have done that with but they usually you know it's something that i have smelled in store first um and liked it certain ones like the daisy also oh, sweet that pink one the sugar smelling one i did sort of blind by that but i bought the um tube so they have the replica bottle but i purchased the little um what do you call it some call them pins it's not a roller ball it's a spray but they only had one so that's why she's holding it for me now as far as these candles go i was looking online because i was on miss tiffany's instagram last night and a lot of people were talking about these forever moods now i'm someone that i would consider myself a candle snob not completely i generally like the candles that i like until something is wrong with them and then i will move over but however 
Blue Spa is one that I want to try. They were talking about Nest on there. So I do want to try one of those. My daughter likes Joe Malone. I would like to try one of those. But I've never really paid a super high price for a candle. Our Bath and Body Works is usually the most that I've paid as far as I know. I'm really trying to think because I don't think I've hauled anything of the luxury brand and candles on here besides my love for Candleberry. And I usually stick within the prices that are under $20, even with those. So this is my first time. As you know, these are by Jackie Ina. And I was trying to decide on if I wanted a single candle or this set. Now, her candles have reviews that are both good, both bad, um, neutral, positive, negative. I've seen it all on there. Some say these candles smell like something they've already got. They don't smell any different from any other fall candle, which you're going to run into that. When you look at things like Harvest and Pumpkin and Spices, you will find cheap and expensive candles that smell the same. You will find, you know, cheaper ones that smell really, really good, more so than the name brand ones. You will have name brand ones that throw weak or what have you. So I'm not really worried about that. What I'm looking for is scents that maybe, you know what I mean, are sort of one of a kind. And even that's hard when it comes to the fall scents and ingredients. But y'all remember, I keep talking about lavender macaroon that Bath and Body Works used to make when they had Slatkin as their candle maker. And back then, I didn't know anything. Like, I did not know that Slatkin was the maker of those candles. I just thought they were Bath and Body Works. And that lavender macaroon smelled like nothing. It didn't have like lavender in its base as far as the lavender scent that we know. It just smelled good. It smelled like our Libs candy store. And, you know, like they said in that, um, in Mrs. Tiffany's um, Instagram last night, stores can only make what they have available and maybe slack and took that oil with him. But once I saw certain candles in Marshalls and in Kohl's and in places where people were talking about that were slack and made, you can bet I've been sniffing every one looking for anything similar to that particular scent. Now on these, I want to purchase the one called Caked Up. That one had my interest and I want to purchase the one called Matcha Business. So I will go back um, Thursday. When I get that perfume, I will get one of those candles. But I chose this right here because you get four scents and they're supposed to be fall inspired. I think this one comes in full size and maybe this one comes in full size. And these two don't. They're supposed to be limited edition. I don't know. But here is the box and the presentation as to how they come. And this was like $48. The candles themselves are $38. Um, and right now I get a scent of coffee. Just, you know, having this little box open. Nothing is particularly blowing me out of the water. But I had mentioned to some of the ladies on there um, that I intended to get some. And they said, please do and review. So I thought I'd start with these little ones. I believe these are 2.5 ounces. Let me see to be sure. Because I don't know. Um... But these are the scents, We're Not Lincoln, Grown Folks Business, Hey Big Head, and Skinny Dip. And I'm going to try to hold this so you can kind of see, because I'm going to have to put the phone down to pull these out of here. I can see that now. But hopefully you're able to read, and I'm trying to see if there's any more words, and that is it. But it's a very nice presentation box. I would give this as a gift. Um... To someone so let me pause and try to get these out of here for you also I forgot to mention if you're curious on how this I vote for me looks I've got it on my hand here let's see if I can hold it um, that's what it looks like a true brown I think I'm gonna like it I'm gonna try this on when we get done with this video so it doesn't have the size on here, but I believe they are 2.5 ounce. And just having these out, I'm getting scents of coffee. I'm getting scents of whiskey or bourbon. I don't know if any of those notes are in any of these because you would have to look on the website to see because there is nothing on here. And these little things could be reusable. You could put a little plant or just use them as a little storage thing for brushes. But as you can see, they're very soft because... I don't know if I felt that one and did that or if it was this one because nothing is here. I want to hold that so you can see it. But see this right here? I might have done that because I did touch these. They're very soft. 
And one of the reviews said that if you get these this summer to be at home because they have come melted to them. So I didn't know that these were in the store and I'm glad that they were. We have all of these in the store. Um, except for I think maybe the limited edition full size. But like I said, this one was full size in the store and this one was full size in the store. So this one right here, the one that's called We're Not Lincoln is a coffee type scent with, I can't tell if it's cinnamon or nut notes in there. This one, the skinny dipped one, it smells a little bit different. So they don't smell just alike. But I'm almost even smelling like a peach liqueur and I can't really tell. This one definitely smells nutty and hazelnutty. And this one smells kind of good. It almost smells like a perfume that maybe has... What is that dessert? Back, back lava, if I'm saying that right. With the crushed nuts. And the honey glaze. This almost smells like that. I like this one. I would be likely to buy this one in full size. And this coffee one, scented one, if you like coffee. And again, like I said, you'll have to read the notes. Because we all discern scents differently. This one almost smells like it has a little bit of a peach type tinge to it. But I would definitely be likely to get this in full size. I know that I want the matcha one and I know that I want the caked up, but I will only pick up one of those Thursday. So if I were going to choose between the three, it would have to be one of these three, um, but I'm only going to get one. But I'll be able to light these and I will light one of these up today so we can see how it does. And the next time I come back to you, I'll be able to tell you how I like them. But for right now, the wax is very soft. Be careful. Um, if you order these, like a lot of people are saying, make sure you're at home because if it's hot outside and them things already set on hot trucks. Um, but I do like these. And as far as I know right now, I'll be able to tell you which one I like better after I light it. But I will go back and I will get one full size one on Thursday. So that is all that I got. I'm going to go ahead and rest up for work. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.